Well, hello. Um, today we're going to be having a look at this. Um, purchased it off a well-known auction site. I'm sure you know which one uh, I'm talking about. Uh, all in one hard disk drive docking station. Um, basically lasted about 10 minutes. Came back to try it again. Uh, to start moving some uh, data around, start using it. And it went um, pop and flashed. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tear this down and um, see if we can see what's uh, what's happened to it. But um, I could do with another one, to be honest. But I'm uh, a bit unsure about uh, buying one if it's going to do the same thing. So I might have to look to see if there's um, a different version about. So, But uh, we'll, ta we'll uh, tear this down and... Uh, have a look and see, uh, see if we can see what's uh, what's gone wrong. So here's the uh, unit and power supply uh, out of the box. That's what it looks like. Uh, power supply. Um, yeah, like I say, in the first 10 minutes seemed to be working fine. Came back to switch it on. Um, powered on the unit from the back. LED went dim. Um, nothing was happening. I think I think one of the lights flashed on the front. Um, tried switch it off a few times, and then about the third time, there was a uh, a pop, and I'm sure there was a flash from somewhere uh, in the centre there. I uh, couldn't be sure, but there was definitely a pop, and uh, nothing. Uh, nothing would show up then at all so I'm gonna uh, take this apart and see if we can see what's going on so from where I can see looks like there's two screws in the top not very magnetic a screwdriver at the moment I haven't got one of these flush uh, battery powered uh, screwdrivers yet, but I uh, do it the old fashioned way. Oh, there's, there's one under there. Yeah, it's voided the warranty. Anyway, I got a refund straight away. Um, didn't even have to send it back. Um, and also got a. Um, oh, it's not very magnetic, it's a screwdriver, is it? Um, no. Not having it. Must be that sticker. So yeah, got a um, got a five pound voucher as well back off the uh, auction site. Got like a right faff of this, aren't I? That's it. Um, yeah, got a five pound voucher as well. So. Um, whether this is uh, something that's uh, being returned quite often, I don't know. Um, no, there's more to it than that. Is it going to be a prize? Or is it going to be uh, under the rubber feet job? Well, foam feet, I should say. Under the foam feet. Foam feet flying everywhere. How oh, they do.
yeah it's pretty cheap anyway um I think it's about 17, 18 UK pounds delivered. So, I mean, you don't get a lot really, but um, you do expect it to work more than 10 minutes. And seeing as um, I purchased it to uh, you know get some of these old hard drives backed up, see what's on there. Um, most of them come out of laptops, etc. But um, yeah, it'd be nice to get everything sorted, um, backed up onto a, one big hard drive. But also, I thought it'd be handy for um, you know just moving data around from videos and things like that. Using it for storing. Um, you know, on uh, small hard drives, just uh, backs up of back up of videos and things like that. Right. So I've got to see if I can see. Um, anything uh, on the board that's popped can't see yet oh hang on a minute Yeah, there's a whole blue straight in that. Uh, I don't know if you be able to see this. I don't know if I can do this anyway. Um, so bring it up to the camera. Um, probably can't see that, but that. Um, yeah, that's. there it's blue hole through the center or oh, slightly off center camera's not focusing too close um, but yeah as you can see there looks like it's blew a hole through so that's probably uh, so what happened obviously it's coming in from the power through the switch so um that's the culprit the thing is why did that happen bad component actually there looks uh, Not sure where there's a couple of um, where are you? So, not sure there's a couple of components missing from there. I'm just gonna have a look under the um, magnifying glass. I've got, I haven't got a a scope as such yet so um yeah i'm just gonna have a look at those first okay so i've taken a look at this under the uh, magnifying glass as i say i haven't got a uh i haven't got a scope um microscope i should say not a scope but a microscope to uh to take a look to see what um this chip is i can't see it uh i can't see any numbers on there because it's obviously been burnt out there but it's obviously something to do with um, the 12 volt, 5 volt um, rail because we've got um, we've got 12 volts uh, coming here off the switch. I think we've got 12 volts 
Um, oh, I've got 10 volts over here actually. Um, I've got 12 volts on the um, on the line here. So we've got the 12 volts, obviously, which is a just a straight power in. Um, but there's nothing on the five volt uh, five volt rail. If we have a look at the um, the USB socket. Um, no 5 volt there and across this chip there's no other voltages so um, obviously that's that's the the problem but um, what made it go pop I'm not sure um, whether it was inserting um, one of the drives incorrectly I could say so but um, that shouldn't have made a difference because the pins have really got all line up at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah, um, unless I can find um, something to uh, obviously replace that one. Um, I doubt if there's a schematic about it, but I'm guessing it's... Um, probably track down some kind of replacement for that um, so it might just end up being um, a practice board for when I get um, a hot air flow station that's the next thing um, so yeah I might just become a practice board to, uh, to remove chips and um, might come in as a spare for if I have to get another one of these to try out. So yeah, I might go down that route, get another one of these identical ones, and then um, just keep an eye on it. But uh, what else can you do, really? Um, there might be some more um, expensive, better versions out there, but um, I'm not too sure. I'll have to take a look. Cause it's something I've got to do, get these um, old hard drives backed up, see what's on there. So, um, yeah, it's something I've got to get anyway. But um, for now, I can't do much more with it, really. I'll, uh, I'll take a look, see if I can find any details online, um, try and narrow down to that chip. Because if I could get one, it'd be worth uh, having a go at replacing. Um, might even be able to do with that with some flux and soldering iron, but... Um, yeah, I think I might have to wait till I get um, an hot air reflow station, which is, um, like I say, one of the next things on the list. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to leave it there for now anyway and uh, see if we can have a look at it um, in the future anyway, if I uh, manage to find a part for it or uh, or give you an update of, uh, if I get a, a replacement one of these and um, let you know how that goes but um, yeah for now just just keep a if you've got one of these or thinking of purchasing one just bear in mind that um, yeah they're not obviously made to the uh, the highest of um, standards well it looks like they're made to uh, a good quality board but um, I suppose you get what you paid for and um, it does say uh, You know, it's um, just got the markings on there, but it probably doesn't mean nothing nowadays. Um, so, yeah. Okay, I'll uh, hopefully catch up with you on a uh, future video, and uh, I'll see you soon.